but I believe that Israel has a powerful stranglehold on the American government. They control both members of the House, the House and the Senate. They have us involved in wars of which we have little or no interest. Our children are coming back in body bags. Our nation is bankrupt over these wars. And if you open your mouth, you get targeted. And if they don't beat you at the poll, they'll put you in prison. Explain to me what you see as, you know, why you target or why you have a grudge against the Israelis. The grudge is not necessarily a grudge. It's an objective assessment that no one will have the courage to speak about. They're controlling much of our foreign policy. They're influencing much of our domestic policy. Wolfowitz is under Secretary of Defense, manipulated President Bush number two back into Iraq. They pushed definitely, definitely to try and get Bush before he left to move into Iran. We're conducting an expansionist policy of Israel, and everybody's afraid to say it. They control much of the media, they control much of the commerce of the country, and they control powerfully both bodies of the Congress. They own the Congress. Are you an anti-Semite? No, I'm not. That's exactly what they're going to say, and I expect that. What I am is an American. You see, I think America comes first, and we have a one-sided foreign policy in the Mideast, and we've alienated Arabs who have no way of fighting. So what they've done, and I predicted this on the House floor, is they would export violence to America, and they have. They have no other way to fight. I think President Obama knows this. I think he sees this. I think he wants to do something. I think his hands are tied. And I think he's dancing between the raindrops trying to figure how I can politically machinate some scenario to mitigate these problems. Greta, I'm saying this. America is in danger if America doesn't take back the government without foreign inference, interference.